You wanted to go to the woods, honey? Woods, please. I'm oh, going to the woods Kyle. Only for this whole game. What's up? Look at your stats on the top right. Oh, cool. Hey, what? You, gotta, you now you have wisdom, straight, strength, homie. dexterity, charisma, and mana. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, that's cute. Does that? Yeah, you're not I hope that I want it to be for all of us, but oh, I know that. it's not. Damn it. No. It's really good. So it looks like you're going part. for some hot, stanky wisdom. Yes. All yeah, right. My, my stupid brain went to the fact that there's a four, five, six in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no they were. Those squirrels are still my favorite addition to this whole game. Look at the, it's the faces. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, yeah, no, I, I forced that into one of the titles because I remember you, you screaming about I it. I know you did. Yeah. It made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> she just You're just looking around for some more wacky bullshit to in intrude you when Calculator intrudes upon you instead. I meant intrude upon, by the way. Hello, can I be? It is a good thing I have my library card because I am totally checking you out. It is also useful for borrowing books and DVDs. Smooth, Cal. If you were a Transformer, you would be Optimus Fine, although I am as of yet unsure whether you can turn into a truck. Oh, God damn, Cal. You're really starting uh, to turn me on. Can we switch? Duel the Queen, thank you very much for hanging out. We appreciate it. Yes, if thank I can, you. I read we that appreciate real quick it, but again, good. you don't have to watch all the episodes of River City Girls, just some of the episodes. Uh, Nick, you can watch whatever you want. I you read, can watch as many I as you read do, Help please. My Cousin with some gaming stuff as Help My Cousin with some gambling stuff, and I was oh. about to be like, oh, Hell this yeah. is going to be a whole ass night for you. I'm sorry. Kyle, while you're doing your turn, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. But no, Team. enjoy. I hope, I hope you have many an epic gamer moment. <laughs> if I could rearrange the alphabet, I would put you and I together, despite the fact that this would seriously disrupt alphabetic sorting and likely damage my programming. Oh. Did you just fart because you blew me away? Fuck you, Jess! <laughs> nice. Actually, with that in mind, I do not think that I would want to rearrange the alphabet. I do like you, though. Aww. <laughs> just not that much. Is this working? Are you aroused? Well, you're amused, and that has some of the same letters? Wow, the, the narrator thinks just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I knew it was hopeless. Lately, I have been feeling more and more of what you would call romantic feelings towards you, but I have been unsure how to express them. <laughs> Naturally, I turned to the internet for advice, but this list of 40 best pickup lines has proven highly ineffective at winning your fragile, meat-filled heart. <laughs> I am aware that heart. My, yes, your you heart did. is full of meat, Nick. <laughs> yeah, and mine's I am aware on the outside. that I have several good traits, but I am afraid being sexy is not one of them. Oh well, perhaps a torrid love affair between the two of us is simply not meant to be. No, you can't let Calculus to give up. A torrid love affair between the two of you is definitely meant to be. Look, robots can be upgraded, right? Sure is a way to upgrade Cal sexiness. You just need to figure out what it is. I look forward to this prompt. Train is narrow on that on every romantic comedy ever produced. Or 14 metal dicks. Bottom mm. one. Bottom one. I bottom really one. want that to be bottom, bottom one. one. Definitely something that I'm not weighing yeah, in bottom on. Bottom one. Don't, hey, you don't have boldness anymore, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you scroll to the right really quick, that's, Nick? That, that sounds like wisdom if ever there were. Thank you. Now I can look at what the stats actually mean. <laughs> Yeah. So my creativity is higher than my boldness. My boldness is my lowest stat. So I'm going to go with the top one. Final answer. Oh, smokes. Final answer. <gasps> it, 14 metal dicks is not boldness somehow. That's insanity. It, it, I mean, to be fair, that just sounds smart to me. But if I said it and I got it wrong, then I would have gotten yelled at in the comments. So that's on you. Kyle, Kyle my guy, my friend, my boy. You should have listened to old Piercy <laughs> when it comes to 14 metal dicks. <laughs> That's just a smart upgrade on any computer. I'm just saying. What also, the hell did I, I just walk the, into? Guys, the prophecy 14 metal is dicks, coming Daniel. true. I, en I entered the game and now it's all going to shit. Oh my god, you colin us. <laughs> You can't, you can't see it, but I'm doing a dance. I'm doing a little Counts jig in, 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 in my girlfriend's computer chair. It's, Collins? It's yeah. happening. It's popping off. Colin? 
Straight colonizing. Yeah. If you were porous, would you be a colander? Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. We you got suggest cheers. the calculator <gasps> that watching a large again. number. You su suggest the calculus that watching a large number of romantic comedies might. Thanks for the five bits, Jux. Great idea. Oh, sorry. Great <laughs> it was a pity idea. Bit. I have now watched every romantic comedy ever produced. I am now ready for love. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just read what a yeah, Jux so. said. Read 14 out. metal wangs Four. was the beta design. Needless to say, it was rejected by the test audience because too much sloshing. Quote, too much sloshing, unquote. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's that, it's that, it's that, like, hentai foley artist just fisting a big bucket of cottage cheese into a nice microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, Colin, can you please give us your patented sound? Oh, uh, God. Uh, actually, I, d is, is that Discord friendly? Well, let's, let's find well, out. I'm gonna have to move my headphone off of this ear just so I don't want to fucking... Yeah, it sounds a lot like that. 14 metal wangs, everyone. <laughs> I merely watch. I Sorry, would apologize to everyone in chat, but. No, we asked for this. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Adam Jensen you never with... did, but. Sorry, go on. You, you start to explain you that. For idiots, ha ha. Merely watching the romantic comedies isn't enough. He's gonna have to. Come on, saying heartfelt monologue. Can I be Jesus. ever since I met you accidentally in a coffee shop slash at the library slash in the course of my duties as a wedding planner? I have had several feelings for you. Your douchebag fiance will never love you the way that I, Calculester, love you, but I am too afraid to say because cowardice is the truest proof of affection. I will now proceed to lie to you in ever more complicated ways until my mansion of falsehoods collapses under its own weight, forcing me to make my true feelings known. You feel like calculus are learning the wrong lessons from these movies. It's not a realistic depiction of... Grand Romantic Jester, activate... 14 uh, metal dicks, right there. Uh, Just say Deploy it. metal dicks. <laughs> Calculus attempts to win your heart by smashing a guitar with a boombox playing In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. The boombox explodes. It's full of rose petals. That's the most romantic <laughs> shit I've ever fucking heard. That is beautiful. Yeah. Right. Why is this a failure? Oh! oh no. there you go. You're allergic to rose petals. As you begin to wheeze, Calculus attempts to adorably get semen stuck in his hair, despite <laughs> having neither semen nor hair. Cute. <laughs> beautiful. Get your happy pen, you're fine. <laughs> you collapse, suffering from anaphylactic shock, and calculus your attempts to help your limp body sculpt a vase. When you awaken, you find you've lost two strengths and one mana. Oh my god. So boldness and hey, charm. Boldness right quick, did yes. anyone else notice uh, when in the beginning of that, that last little uh, scene there, when calculus your face went all error screen? Mm -hmm. The tech. Did anyone else notice the text move? No. 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 Because I saw the text move, and then I checked on the uh, like in the Discord stream, and then I checked on Twitch, and it kind of like glitch a little bit. And I, I don't know. That's a cute, I'm not, it's a cute little fact. I like Ooh. that. I never noticed that before. That is cool. Hey, Daniel, you were going for, for charm, it. yeah. The dome dome. Also, dome the dome. fact that the, the, the wording of, of that last chunk almost killed me. I had to I had to mute my headset for a minute. I mean, I, I, so I think good. we've all been in the lot. same boat as Calculester trying to get semen stuck in our hair. Unfortunately, much like Calculester, I'm bald as fuck, so. Yeah. So it's and just then, like Sunday. And then the, funny, and then the yeah. funny blind ferret shows up, Nikki. Yeah. You link up with Joy so you can practice summoning a wokeness elemental. You just compose a necessary tweet and draw the sigils and ethically sourced lamb's blood when. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ooh. you kids, stop getting blood on the grass! Uh, why? Because it is my grass! That's why I bought this cap to turn it into a shopping mall! And the only blood I want spilled on my land is the blood of the commerce! As orphans, if it's profitable. Also orphans. I apologize. <laughs> What? what? You, you can't buy this summer camp. It's a source of happiness for so many people. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Is there a law that says things that make people happy mm. can't be bulldozed? Never mind. I don't give a shit about laws. I'm rich. That's not one word. Mm. You won't get away with this. Good always triumphs Bulldozed? in the end. Pipe down, sugar. You love it. I'll push two hot topics in there, so you're always something to turn to when the other gets too mainstream. That's funny. Now go get yourself another black mesh something and let the men work, hmm? That's a technical foul and sexist. Very yeah, sexist. That's a technical foul. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO wanders off with his tape measure to figure out exactly how many sharper image outlets he can fit in the dome, leaving you alone with a fuming joy. Ugh, I want to punch that dick right in his asshole. <laughs> it's like how Damien feels all the time, but for reasons. I'm sorry, dude. I the I best, the Laura, best part can you of the please writing. read that one line in your Damien voice? <laughs> Where I want to punch that dick right in his asshole. Thank that you. I needed that That's in my life. That's right. Yeah. That's my yeah. text tone for and, uh, when text me. As, for, for as snappy and clever as the dialogue is in these games, I think they're creative use of swear might be my favorite thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Honestly, yeah. yeah. It's on my top top three of everything. <laughs> They're really good at character. it. They are. He's right, though. We can't rely on natural forces to stop him. Our only hope is to turn to the supernatural. Joey whips out the biggest spell book you've ever seen and slams it down the grass. Jeez, where was she keeping that thing? I envisioned the uh, rules popping up. When I think this big magical is the home of the Bakunin, the most powerful collection of anti-capitalist magics ever assembled. There must be something in here that can put an end to that man's horrible schemes, but what? You search for the ancient pages for the perfect spell. You narrow it down to two options. 14 metal dicks. Sacrifice a thousand shares of Fortune 500 stock to summon the invisible hand of the market. <laughs> oh God! Construct the only artifact powerful enough to imprison a Monopoly man. The go to jail card. <laughs> that's a really good answer. <laughs> I like it. I feel like that's either creative, creative or fun. The bottom one. Now I think about it. 14 metal dicks was probably fun, huh? Jail is fun. <laughs> the top one well, sounds. I'm just saying, Kyle. Dicks, sometimes so you gotta think with your dick. Or bold, right? You think so? I guess it wasn't. Also, Kyle, take it, take it from professional terrible monster prom player. You gotta just accept. You gotta just move past it. Oh no, it's fine. I just... Nothing you can do. Don't 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 kill yourself over the over the mistakes of the past. Just get to the end of the game and accept the inevitable. I feel like the top one is <laughs> creative or smart. <sighs> Nick, but move I... the fucking cursor. <laughs> it's a hair clip. It's almost mm. dead, but it's know. also, it's, it's removing her sick fade line. <laughs> what do you guys think? Her uh, fancy part. The bottom one feels like creativity. And, and the top one the feels like smart. Top one it? feels like smarts. Oh, well, no, the bottom one could be fun because it's a game. As we learned last time, Monopoly usually means fun, Nick. Mm -hmm. I have no opinion one way or another. <laughs> I hate, I hate that we don't. It wasn't fun last time. I hate that we don't. We're back with the, with similar characters and format, but we don't know the meta anymore. I Jeff know. says we're all wrong. The only, the only. I can't read that because I have it on dual screen. Uh, the only thing that can jail the Monopoly Man is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So it's gotta be the top one. If the bottom one is fun. Hey Kyle, guess fun. what I found? There are no useless cards in my grand. Kaiba? All right, Kaiba, the top one. Type one? Uh, yeah, let's just. What were you about to say, Nick? Oh, I found sales stall teens. Ow. Sales. Eat em. <laughs> Yay, right, Daniel. Right. Yeah. You know, that just might work. Now, most ordinary witches wouldn't just have a thousand shares of Fortune 500 stock lying around. But luckily, the coven and I rescued Fortuna, Roman goddess of luck, for a secret prison beneath Las Vegas. So she owes me one. Wasn't Fortuna in Persona also? Yes. Yeah. Most. Yay. They're almost all based off mythology, so. Don't tell Nick. I got Also, that. Fortuna is, that is a... for cats. Kyle. So, oh, it's good Fortuna. one. Nick. Oh, should I a... say. Say words. Uh, no. it, it... Was that a Percy Jackson joke? Which part? The Fortuna and 
Las Vegas thing. Isn't that like a thing that's like yes. a plot point in the Percy Jackson books or something? No, yeah, the, that... the Vegas part is with the uh, the Lotus Hotel. But yeah, it, it's okay. fair. Okay. Okay. Well, Sorry. Should You're I good. say she owes me 1000 <laughs> True to her word, Joy soon has a thousand shares of extremely valuable stock. You sacrifice them all by setting the receipts on fire while horrified stockbrokers look on. Uh, we we at best we here at Best Blood stand horrified stockbrokers. Mm -hmm. The stockbroker part isn't a necessary part of the ritual. You just love the look on their faces. The ritual's complete, and I feel it. Oh oh, hold on, sorry. He feels yeah. it. He's Jesus feeling it. Jesus Christ! No, my yeah. leg turned the volume all the way to the max. I just pierced. The <laughs> oh yeah, he's Fuck. feeling oh. it. <laughs> I as soon as Colin were... went, you feel it, my eye, my ears just <laughs> You want to make sure you're feeling it. Austin. Feel yeah. it, feel it. I'm, I'm on volume 12, and I just leaned on it, and it went to 98. Now you see why I hated that headset so much. Anyway. The ritual's complete, and I feel it. The feel dark it, presence feel it. swiftly approaching the invisible hand of the market. They say the invisible hand has the power to make... The, th the poor rich and the rich poor. They say it topples kings and destroys empires. No, it makes the rich rich and then also the rich richer. That's what yeah. the invisible hand of mm -hmm. a cold wind. I, I, no, I know what you're trying to do, Kyle, but with your shit internet, you know, you really should get advice from Dan on good internet. Prove that. <laughs> eh, a cold better. wind whips through camp and you suddenly <laughs> feel the presence of something invisible and uh -oh. fingery. Oh, no, I don't like oh, no. fingery as a, as a <laughs> like that at all. But according to my research, it's actually just a real mean hand that nobody can see. Isn't that right, invisible hand? <gasps> just one hand yeah. claps at you. Oh. you. You hear a satisfied snapping sound from somewhere nearby. It's here. I mean, snapping is virtually just a one hand clap. Hey, invisible hand, want to go prank a CEO? He's right over there. The wind whips past you. The hand is on the move. <laughs> Colin B wants to know if you're here for. I... No, I don't think yeah. he was. You yeah, I was. Yeah. Now all we have to do is watch and wait. Ow! Oh, what is this? A wedgie? And my wallet is missing. Oh no! No, please, Mr. Invisible Hand, sir, don't play your financial pranks on me. I've always been your loyal servant. Stop pinching my butt and posting inflammatory tweets about my business for a second and listen to me. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. What are you doing? No, don't use high frequency short selling to undermine my business share prices. You're mad. And worst of all, I can't tell whether you're flipping me off or not because you're invisible. Oh, he mad. This is. You win this time, you vivacious summer campers. I'll make peace with with this mischievous hand, and I'll be back. You hear me? I'll be back. Wow, that went even better no. than expected. You're a natural magician, Arn. I was trying to. I'm do... a little dis. Go ahead, sugar. I was I was trying to do Claw and it er, Doctor Claw from Inspector Gadget, and mm. I bailed on that immediately. Next time. See, yeah, no, I can't yeah, wait. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Gadget. Next start. Like, it just comes out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. God. That was like meat water in Cleveland. Gadget. <laughs> hey, damn it. Actually, all I could hear when Colin did that Jerry. voice was. Uh... Next time, Gadget. Like, it just comes out as like a fucking Pee Wee Herman thing. I've never been able to do it. And it's no, all I can hear the voice when you do that Muppet. is. Next time, K Monster! <laughs> yeah, Colin. Yeah. Monster. I Try can do Monster. Mon that, that works. Wait, do animal? Or animal. animal? Yeah. Animal. yeah. <laughs> Drummer. Do it the way anyway. I do the one voice. Oh, oh wait. Sucks one thing, I, didn't mean to, Colin. I didn't mean to totally derail that. I will, no, no, I will go back Colin. To... Laura, you're yeah. the only can person you I know that can do that. Utilize that voice and give me one so long, gay Bowser. The the animal from the Muppets voice? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser! <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm Fair so enough. disturbed that our entire world economy is controlled by that <laughs> shit of hand. But then again, it's not like I love capitalism in the first place. Neither did you. The only love you feel is for the radical witch standing right in front of you. You gain plus two charm, 
plus one fun and plus two hot topics. I always knew I liked Joy. I respect her <laughs> big anti-cap stance there. She's so good. Child of what? Also, B, you're not dumb. I read Monster from the Muppets and immediately knew who you were talking about and yeah. then was like, oh yeah, that's that's the Puppets <laughs> Oh. I just ate five popsicles uh -huh. and now my tongue is bleeding. Dan, why did you eat five popsicles? <laughs> I don't know. It's genetics, why baby. Why is your tongue bleeding? You know, I said it earlier and I'll say it God, again. Dana, God, you're fat. Are fucking pineapple? Mm. Uh, cherry and lemon. Where would you like to go? Oh, Laura? I ate five popsicles. I don't know why my tongue's bleeding. Because you uh, ate fucking two cherry and three lemon. Didn't, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't didn't close. you? I wasn't Haunted house? why. Yes, please. I just said they I'm um, bleeding. It's true. Well, you shove a, you shove a Kleenex in your mouth and let's press on. Yeah, just I have a Kleenex in my Dan, Dan, Dan just does the rest of the episode with his mouth full of tissues. <laughs> Colin, my nose is stuffed with a tissue because my nose has been bleeding all night. Maybe you yeah, should that's... stop sticking popsicles up your fucking nose. Yeah. Didn't you happened. learn from Brendan Small? You don't stick Dan, marbles I don't know how up many your more nose. Times I need to tell you that. What? Slightly less cocaine. That's it. I'm not even saying stop. I'm just saying a little bit less. But mom got it for me. Yeah, I know. And Aww, she, she comes, through, she comes yeah. through with the loudest boof in the game. I understand it, but you got it just a little bit so that you're not constantly bleeding throughout the fucking stream, man. It's cocaine chicken. It's a good I'm idea not that driving we over short game. Yeah, man. I'm in comfy pants. <laughs> I'm not putting chicken. socks on. I'm not driving over to Mia Wallace, revive your ass back to life. Like, all right. <laughs> Boy, <dear. laughs> also for the bit for and for for the sake of posterity, Daniel does not do drugs. I've He's never done a the drug. least. Daniel likely. has never done drugs. No, I think of... Kyle would probably be the least likely. Correct, and then me. Dan, no, I... we might be able to pressure him. No, yeah, my, well, that's I, easy. I, my, goal, my goal is to wind up on my deathbed. That's the only way that I feel like I'm ever the to smoke a J with me. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Laura, if you you do it. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't. He doesn't care. You Later you find Talia punching a rock. This would normally be pretty standard, but you realize her expression has a shade of sadness. Go oh, ask goodness. if she's okay. She's not. <laughs> oh, no! Sweet. Oh. Give us your best sad <clears throat> Dahlia. Yeah, right. Oh. oh. Hi, Katricia. I hate it. I wasn't prepared for her to have range. You must be wondering why I, Dahlia Aquino, am not my usual cheerful disposition. I know you all expect me to keep mor morale high, as I am the unquestionable leader of this camp army of ours. You have literally never seen her as that, but you are not about to interrupt her. I have. Mm -hmm. You see, I've been lately enjoying many... Uh, the, the <laughs> Sorry. I almost read that as the manly pleasures. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the many pleasures of summer as I get closer to my goal of having the best summer ever. Also been my own home domicile, so that's why I'm not screaming all of the Dahlia lines. You're good. Um, but might all these pleasures be making me weak in the process? Colin, I didn't scream my Scott ones before either. Well, that's just a sin. Mm -hmm. No, I think I did a pretty good job. You live in your own fucking house. I know, I'm but I have a headset on. I don't want to kill you guys. Fair enough. You're fine. I've been so focused on summer when before my only season used to be conquest season. I think we all know what the problem is. Hi, Mo. Hey, Aww. Mo. We love you, Mo. He said you guys Mo not chocolate playing. is in the chat, ladies. He says, hey, buddy. A mighty ally, beloved friend. So as all a, of as that a, cut in, out, but I know you said you a, love Mo. Did as it an really? important point, uh, Mo, yeah. we were oh, trying to I... upload our episode with you today. Oh, no, it's still uh, in the process of being uploaded. Yeah, but uh, we put it on YouTube last night, 
and it still says it's processing and YouTube won't help us fix it. At 8 p.m. Yeah, so it's been over 24 hours and the video is just like If it's not, not up tomorrow, I'm going to open multiple tabs on my browser, contact YouTube support on every single one of them until somebody fixes it. <laughs> anyway, please continue Maybe reading. Let's take it, down, take it down and entirely re-upload it. Oh, he says hi, go chocolate! Mo, Mo, that is literally the most just... That's the only response. Just, ah, YouTube. Fucking Susan. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Susan! Fuck you, Susan. <laughs> Click the screen, Nicholas! You never, you never said it, but okay. It's Damien. What the hell? Yeah, my whole thing used to be being Damien's rival, conquering the Eighth Circle of Hell and all that. But Summer Camp has opened my eyes. Damien is, like, super lame. Oh. <laughs> hey. That idiot has zero survival skills. I saw him checking a tree's bark to find the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> He's the silverest of silver spoons. It's disheartening. Sorry, I was having a hard time reading the word silverest. Fair enough. Also, Mo, I, I am gonna work or I'm gonna work on getting more channel points and like widgets and whatnot. But hey, we but... got a cute cat. Just yeah. a cute cat. Like yeah, Mo, do, Mo, do you like the cat? Also, can cat? we make a promise to each other that when we all take mm. turns dying when we're older, we'll just read the eulogies in our monster prom voices? I mean, I can't make that uh, promise because I'm not going to die. On one, one, well, yeah, no, Nick's going to outlive everybody. Yeah. I'm going to read, Dan, I'm going to read yours as Dali, or uh, as Vera and just roast you the whole time and everyone's going to laugh and it's going to be great. I'm going to read Kyle's What's as, the deal with Dan's popsicles? Look at this idiot. He fucking died. What a loser. Um, <laughs> the cat's dancing again. Laura will read, just make bird call sounds. I'm gonna read Kyle's yeah. in the Dahlia voice and just make up some bullshit about how he died. Like, oh, prostate cancer. All right, cool. Like, I mean, that's that's terrible and not not great. But I'm gonna come up with some nonsense about how you were like trying to fight off a bear or something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've been fighting off Nick for years, so. Kyle got yeah, well, Nick's maybe if you had chosen 14 metal dicks, you would have gotten a lot farther with me. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, Colin, read the line, honey. Nick's a right. sloppy <laughs> otter at best. I cannot <laughs> see that wimp as a rival anymore. Laura, she just called your boy a wimp. Also, I'm totally going to give you a fucking right. sloppy also, they otter, just went, asshole. They just, went, they just went period space capital B. But a healthy rivalry is a central part of a warlord's structure to remaining strong. I feel like you're not supposed to start a sentence with the word but. Uh, grammatically, no, but in a it's story sense. Maybe sometimes you can. I know yeah. this because I've watched all kinds of infamous or infam I almost read informational documentaries on being strong, such as Dragon Ball and Naruto. I think one of those was even filmed by Michael Moore. Get out of here, Chucks. Ha, idiot. That was yeah, he JoJo is. Yeah, he Season is. 3, you fucking Nimrod. <laughs> Ooh, good I hear he's Nimrod. coming back. So, so I got <laughs> worried that I would become weak by having no rivals. You guys can't see it, but I gave the cat. I punching this rock in hopes that, that we'd become sworn enemies. But it, it, it's not working. I gave the cat a hat. You tell Dahlia you'll become her rival. A rivalry to remember. Nah, you're just saying that so we can build some sort of sexual tension. So? I mean... So? I don't blame you. Anyone would leave it the chance if it meant to get a spoonful of this buff, beautiful blue bud. So you understand. <laughs> yeah, not entirely incorrect there. But enemies to lovers sounds like more of an Aravi or Joy thing. Not my jam, though. Sorry. Did we just get de did you just get denied by Dahlia before we even got to the end? <laughs> In the middle of the game. <laughs> no, she's the Colin. The game. It's the Colin curse. <laughs> what I hear is that she's open to the possibility of being one, but not both. 
fair. That's that fair. Sucks. Keep keep them dreams if, coming. Exactly. But if Dolly is not into the sexual tension with rivals, maybe she's into intimacy, trust, and eventually sexual tension with good friends who help her in an hour of need. Hey, Laura, real quick, can we read that like all caps part one more time? Because it just said eventually. Eventually. It's almost like you gotta work on it first. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. No, that's not. That's not. No, I don't think that's. This, no. this game is this, this game is SJW trash. Get it out of here. Remove from the channel. I Nick, believe you... it takes two you hours the and then you sexualize, sexualizically tension each other. No, I was gonna ask you to edit an "I fuck on the first date" shirt onto Dahlia for this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Bet. I won't remember, but if I do, I will. Here you go, Thank everyone you. on YouTube, not watching and yelling at us because we don't talk the lines and nothing but them. Mo, it's thank dope. you for the bits and fucking mouse wife, always. Cat don't. <laughs> also, I totally missed the comment that says Kyle's a twink. Now he funny. totally is, though, but he won't let me say it. Pin it. He's not. How do you He's... know? Because Kyle is far too thick to be a twink. That's he's true. A thick he's twink. Like by definition. He's he's a twink. He's what we call a wooden spoon. <laughs> Did you say twink? He's a twink. <laughs> yeah. A twink. <laughs> he's a thick twink. He that makes it sound like a mark. Twink energy. energy. Always support also, the bottom. Got a, he's Look. got a dump truck. My boy is a little Debbie snack cake. <laughs> Bring it back. Hell yeah. Good job. <laughs> Anyway, that boy, thick ass oatmeal <laughs> p cream pie. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. Go on. <laughs> Don't overthwink it. Jump head <laughs> first into it. Punch the first person who crosses your path and let rivalry blossom over time. Or you're surpassed. You've surpassed Damien's level by far, but what if you had a rival that was a horrible creature made out of 14 <laughs> Damien's? Oh my god. That may be. That may level the playing field. Um. Dancing is cat. punching the someone bottom, randomly? I'm not 100% positive, but the bottom one might be a thing. I think I think I know what you're talking about. Because I've, I've seen art from this game, and the bottom one might be a thing. I want. What do you? I don't think know is, what stat it hits, but. Mm. What do you um, think is? If boldness? you want my opinion, Laura, I think that I have it's no Dahlia, strong opinion it's all either of them, way. Right? <laughs> what, Nikki? If you want my opinion, I think I have no strong opinion either way. Fantastic. So good and helpful. Yes, very helpful. Glad, glad, glad I could do my best. I really want to pick the bottom one, but I don't know if 14 Damien's is bold or... It could be fun. Is that It could be creative. Exactly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since your top two well, are the tied. First, the top one sounds like boldness, for sure. Yeah. Ugh. Like, don't think it, just punch the person. That's boldness, and that's ever, your top stat. Did yeah. we ever figure out what happens if it is a tie? Did so we, we just like, concrete figure that we out? We just had a comment the other day um, saying that they found out from one of the people who was in the game, I don't remember who, um, one of their videos that apparently it's a coin flip if it's tied, but I don't know how much I trust that. It was on Jesse ah. Cox's podcast or something. See, I feel like well, both should work. They said there's a right answer, quote unquote, but I don't know how you would like determine that. I don't know, because like, is let a rivalry blossom over time? That almost sounds like <laughs> creativity or charm or something. Thematically, that, uh, or yeah, no, like, Wait, are you want a secret up, ending and I've that got lines something? up more with like that whole sequence so I kind of lean on it but I know it's like a very clear stat check but I'm genuinely not sure which is which or what the top one at least would be the bottom top one 100 bottom one the top as one. far as I'm concerned is probably boldness just because it involves Damien directly and his main attributed stat is boldness I don't know. I, don't, I think it's. I think, I think the, the bottom top one. One's top one sounds it. like boldness. The bottom one sounds. It sounds creative to me. So yeah, but the yeah the top know, one really the top cool. one offer the top one offers the 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 option to punch somebody. So it's probably boldness. It's a head head first jump head first into it is like the the line of boldness. Laura, take back what you said about mine being the hardest decision before. This one might be. <laughs> I, th I think I'm gonna go with the topness, but I'm I'm not sure if that's bold. I think that's if it's, the correct move. I think did you just not, say the topness. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. All right, final answer. Yeah, let's go for it. 
Yay. Yes. Yay, right. Dahlia takes her word for it when she hears some footsteps at her back and she punches before even looking. I hope it's you Damien. Damien. It's gonna be Damien. It's gonna be 14 Damien's. <gasps> but oh. the punch is stopped in a very anime way. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Oh. It's, <gasps> it's a very athletic water nymph. Their eyes lock. Will this character be drawn? Hey, no. you. You have no right to punch that rock. That rock was my rival. <laughs> Dahlia is smitten, but not romantically. Somehow, you can tell she's smitten in a platonic rival way. Yeah. They had a hella anime fight. This is the yeah, worst game. Zero out of ten. <laughs> because of the word hella? Yes. <laughs> That's like your favorite word. Techniques they use, they even shout the names of their attacks out loud. Kick of the Raising Salmon! The nymph <laughs> screams while throwing the sickest <laughs> kick ever. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Is that Crash Bandicoot? Well, yeah. I totally named my techniques too. Uh, uh, head, head part of the Rising Dahlia! Aw. It's also a kick, but who are you to judge? <laughs> you're... you're not half bad. You're not half bad either. Name's you're pretty Dahlia. Cool. <laughs> Thumb, thumbs nose. Yep. <gasps> Pushes up glasses. <laughs> nice to with, fight with you! With middle finger. Yeah, just boop. Dahlia, I'm Daphne. Daphne the Nymph. I'll admit that Rising Salmon was kind of cool. But I could beat it in a heartbeat, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. And that headbutt of the Rising Dahlia. I must say, I admit I've never seen a headbutt done with your leg. Bro, I just had a thought. Has there ever been an anime protagonist that, like, screams out, like, their attack name, like, Headbutt of the Rising Dahlia, and then does a kick because they're throwing off their opponent. I mean, that if sounds like a very guess. anime-esque thing. Just right? Like, <laughs> that that sounds like a thing that should already exist. There's definitely in Gurren Lagann, but <laughs> Someone I can't prove it. Someone who's watched all of Gintama, please comment below. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we could, like, totally fight any other day. Not, not, not that I care. No, no, Mickey. no, me neither. <laughs> no, Lord, shut up. Sorry. Mickey, stop. <laughs> hey, she took too long. Now her candy's gone. I didn't take that long. I'm free on Wednesdays, and fighting you would be better than doing nothing. If you're not, like, busy fighting anyone else. Nah, I lost my rival recently. It's a funny story. Nothing important. Okay, truth time. I was just testing that Rock is my rival. My real rival moved on to a new story arc with a new, more powerful rival. Your former rival sounds like a douche! I know! Word! My only other prospect was transitioning into the reluctant Sunder grumpy ally, but fuck it! I was born for the rival life! I feel ya. My former rival moved on to the story arc of becoming a useless wimp! But hey, I only rival platonically, okay? I prefer to be clear up front. And two, rivals to lovers is not my thing. It's all just punches and indirect self throws Anyway, this is my number if you want to get your ass beaten any day. Ooh. Ooh. Fan self. <laughs> My weird. We'll see whose ass gets beaten. Sure, Dahlia. We'll see. And then she leaves in a way that's so epic that you can actually hear what sounds like a bitchin' anime <laughs> song. <coughs> it, it's baby metal. Yeah! Dahlia is back! Thanks, Katricia. 
Dahlia hugs you. The strength of her hug gives you plus two charm, and the intense J-pop in the background gives you plus one boldness. Nick, but don't lose your way. <laughs> no! I'll get flagged by YouTube. They already don't let me put the fucking ending theme in. I don't Nick. care about Susan. MIDI file. Eh. Oh, crap. I have three. Trust boy. Three of the same stat. Oh, it doesn't matter. You guys are already done. I'm going for fun, then. Blah, blah, blah. You look cute in a swimsuit. Ah, cute. A few hours later, you're out adventuring with Ravi and Hex. Yo, y'all followed the scroll from that messenger. Now you're deep in the northern woods. Oh, yeah. You've already found several environmental puzzles, a few cryptic clues. With each solved puzzle, you draw closer to the secret location of the Ring of Sustenance. Sus. Strangely, all of the puzzles and clues so far have been vaguely bagel-themed. Whoa, I once arranged these glowing stones to spell locks. A scroll appeared. Damn, this is some dope-ass gorilla bagel shop marketing. This promo slaps. The last time, Hex. These clues are leading us to a dungeon. Not a fucking bagel store, it's so obvious. Ugh, you'll see when we get there. What does the scroll say? Nice. <laughs> what does your scroll say? What does your scroll say? Psh, whatever, Bagel Hater. The scroll says you're near the end of your quest, triumphant adventurers. Walk two miles to the north, the ring awaits you there. Whoa! Ooh. Finally! We've solved the annoying intro puzzles, and now we get to dive headfirst into some sweet, sweet dunge. Gods, I hope it's multi leveled with a super complicated layout. Toads, but just in this case. It ends up being a bagel shop. I should prep first. I gotta make sure my patented cream cheese utility belt is full of maximum flavors. Gross. But also, yeah, we should get ready. I should head back to my stash and optimize my inventory. I'm all short range high damage right now, if you know what I mean. Oh. Mmm. Arami puts a bag over your head and leads you to her nearest fully stocked weapon stash. She starts reviewing her inventory. Okay, just gotta pack enough for a full dungeon run. Let's go with 20 green potions for healing, 20 red potions for mana, and 400 apples in case I need a quick plus 5 health. I'll need all 128 different types of crafting materials. Dungeons are unpredictable. You never know when a mini boss is going to be weak against Iridium Core. And then I have my weapons. Obvi. As of now, I've got eight swords and 14 crossbows equipped, each with slightly different attack and range stats. Those are all 100% necessary. Damaravi, hoarders, my hoarding addiction called. They want their absurd collection of useless shit back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have one last inventory spot open. Ooh, I know. I'll take the Axe of Golden Demise. I looted it off a Lightning Warlock miniboss last week. Hmm. Fuck that, Aravi. You know we share inventory space, and I need that slot. I'm planning to get covered in schmear. So I've got to take my package of 200 paper napkins. Napkins! They're a complete waste of inventory space! I'm going to be fighting to survive in that dungeon, okay? I don't have time for your snack, food, nonsense! Uh, dude, you take up like 99% of the inventory space. You can't give me one slot? Where'd you learn how to share? The toilet school! Got it. <laughs> Ravi and Hex are fighting again, but luckily for them... <laughs> You're an expert at conflict resolution. What's the best use for Ravi's last precious inventory slot? Toilet school diploma. Hex, the axe of golden demise isn't for slaughtering enemies, it's for slaughtering bagels by chopping them perfectly in half. Mm. Bruh, I know his his love of bagels has been well established, but there. what of there. what of the schmear? Well, they they just said what it. What does he put uh, sorry, they. what do they put on the bagel? Sorry, schmear. I, I mean Schmear. But they, they just what? said it in the last line. Schmear is its own thing, Colin. Possibly no. locks. It is. Aravi, yes. napkins are just tiny shields. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they might not give you a huge defense boost, but you've got 200 from here. Mamma mia, that's a lot of shield. <laughs> mm. Mamma mia. Hey, 
It's the Super Aravian Hex Super Show! Get out of here, Captain Lou. <laughs> Never. I really the genuinely don't looking. know. We love, we love Lou Albano. Absolutely. The top one kind of sound... They both sound creative, so never mind. Uh, yeah, the top one to me sounds like boldness. Bagels are charming, not bold. I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I feel <laughs> charming whenever I eat a bagel. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, but you always say you feel charming. Quote, Nick, awesome. you should make yeah. a safe Laura, Laura I wish I burn. could. <laughs> Bagels are charming. Twenty. All right, you guys ready for me to fail? <laughs> yeah. Are you just gonna click randomly? I'm just gonna click I've... the first one. Yay! Yay! See, bagels are fun. <laughs> bagels are fun. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin, you've been called out for not knowing what schmear is, and you live on the East Coast. Yeah, that's disappointing. Bullshit. Schmear. Oh, fair enough. You're making up a dumb lie to trick me and impress a Ravi. I'm not gonna fall for it like all the other idiots around here. Mm. No! Ah, she's right! The Axe of Golden Demise is the pinnacle of bread slicing weaponry, and I'll prove it. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. It being fun because you're using it for something stupid. I thought it was bold because it was a big pointy weapon. Mm -hmm. um, so I just... Yes? Sorry, go on. No, continue the scene. Sorry. Aravi equips the Axe of Golden Demise as her default weapon. She now has immunity against lightning-based attacks. All right, I'm ready. Now we just need a test bagel. Hex, got one on you. You know I do, mofo. <laughs> Hex summons a bagel out of thin air. It's impressive, but also unsettling. Where the fuck did that bagel come from? Was it, was it in their pocket? Or is this one of Hex's supernatural abilities? Can they summon bagels? I'm the narrator and even I don't know. Why are they excited about a bagel shop if they could summon bagels? Continue. I'll take you to the bagel shop. Different bagels. <laughs> bagels. With smear, with smear. These nice. <laughs> I like that. Well played. Throw the bagel at me as hard as you can. I'll show you the true power of the Axe of Golden Demise. Believe it. Not a reference. That's it, bagel. <laughs> Date baya! <laughs> Whatevs, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Date baya. Bagel yeet! Much better than Date baya! <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, I don't know how this is getting chopped up, but Kyle! Yo! <laughs> bagel yeet! I know, right? Episode he doesn't title. watch these episodes. I don't title the streams, it's too long. It bagel takes too, yeet. uh, it takes too much effort. You're not- um, actually, That's not that. true! When you chop them up, I totally do title them. Uh, the bagel flies through the air, and Aravi slices through it perfectly. The axe of golden <laughs> demise shimmers as its legendary blade parts the bread in twain. I have Aravi's technique was so flawless. Dreams. Sorry. Uh, Aravi's technique was so flawless that she somehow toasted the bagel. One slice lands on Hex's hand, and the other lands oh, in God. your hand. Mmm, toasty. Damn, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I was so wrong. This thing is awesome. Fuck the napkins. This is unbelievably sh this unbelievably sharp murder weapon is the ultimate bagel eating accessory. Jux, the other episode will be kind of cheese fisting. Don't worry. <laughs> I think Susan might not only... let that one go up if it's anything yeah. like our episode that came out today. I, I fought Susan enough. Oh. I don't know if fisting will necessarily get flagged. I've been flagged for dumber. Continue. Yeah. Fit. Just do fist. Yeah. <laughs> Ask <Yep. risk. laughs> Get away do with it. it. All Go on. In ASCII. <laughs> like the pros. Yeah. Didn't you read the flavor text? The axe was crafted by a legendary blacksmith who was um made out of bread. Right, are we? Mm-hmm. Oh, she Thanks. Mm. I really wanted to test out this bad boy. When we get to the dungeon, I'll slaughter a goblin in your honor. Stop it, Ravi. Just say more goblins. Come on. Once again, your conflict resolution skills have saved the day. Now prepare yourself. The ring of sustenance awaits. Nikki this lasts is one more on day. My YouTube channel. In this <laughs> three and a half hour long video. Thing, I will explain the racist implications of the Monsters Prom series. 
<laughs> just spell it like fist. Through the lens ten. of, of Ravi being racist to goblins, <laughs> such as myself, Gron, uh, Duel the Quinn. everyone's favorite best friends, <laughs> oh, Carrie. It's a new The Quartering video. Why are the goblins in Monster right. Prom? Everybody choose something Irish. good. Say your choice out loud to the other place for clicking. I pick goblins. Goblins. Yeah, there's my guy. Um, I just have to question. Uh, I, I read that Kyle wrote, um, Welcome to Best Buds. <laughs> And then Duel the Queen wrote, I love it. Joke's on you, that's my kink. Are you saying wear your kink? Because, no, I'm not shaming you, but that you could have is so it, many better kinks. Is is the kink abusing goblins? <laughs> I mean, Aravi's is. Um, anyway, something good. Kyle says goblins. Also, ju Juk says just spell it like F-I-S apostrophe T-I-N, and we Damn can it, he definitely said it louder than me. get away with that. Fissin. Mine's wheat thins. And then and then duel the Mine's queen bagels. says, well yes, but also no, I'll take it. Wheat thins and bagels are both great. We love goblins on this channel. We're goblin, goblin. friendly channel. Goblins, wheat thins, bagels, and Laura. Gabagoo. Gabagoo. Play orders based on how badass Just... Gabagoo. <laughs> different kinds of gobble. <laughs> yeah, gobble gobble. guys, does it? Does it? I would, does it, I would watch does that it, video again. Does it fuck with anyone else how much funnier uh, Donkey is than we will ever be? Donkey is yeah. the Anybody? pinnacle of comedy, and I love him. <laughs> You're not wrong. Never more have I wanted to hug a YouTuber, and that makes me feel gross because I don't like hugging people. You, me, and eight mil billion other people. But yep. hear me out. How yeah. badass would a goblin-based superpower be? It wouldn't be. Not it wouldn't be as good as Gabagool. True. Uh, the Green Goblin would like to argue that. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask the Green Gabagool? I used to be afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe has entered the chat. Listen, I'm I'd like to be Willem Dafoe. Spider-Man! But not a goblin. <laughs> are you in? Or are you out? <laughs> All right. You guys Do we have... Do that, Do we... Okay. Do we have Do a? Uh, remember that time the goblins threw a bomb a, and a turned thing? those people into CG skeletons, Nicholas? <laughs> oh, I remember, uh, honey. I've seen more Spider-Man than you could only dream of. Don't get me on my goblin soapbox, boys. I didn't right. hear what Laura said, but now she's on mute, so she I think said she... she'd be right back. She's something, oh. something, something. Yeah, I was, I was vamping. Okay. Yeah, so we know. I, I heard that and then saw her mute, so I was vamping with funny Willem Dafoe Spider-Man <laughs> jokes that are timely <laughs> and and hilarious. Uh, do do we have a, a thing on this? Why should you we just idiots hit let me join this fucking stream? I didn't get the option to turn you away. <laughs> also, Nick, where the hell did your uh, Discord icon come from? It's a very cute picture of like a kappa head. Quest. Wow. No, no quest. 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 That, that does not at all answer my question, Nicholas. Just Google Quest with a question mark and you'll find it. But okay. what do we have to go on this challenge? Hey, Trash, I, I love you. Trash says, Will <laughs> Defoe is always timely and funny. <laughs> Entirely factual. Hell yeah. And he might just be wanting a bagel to go with his coffee. I would love a bagel with some schmear, Spider-Man! Oh, mine was a different reference, but that's fine. Oh, you haven't seen Boondock Saints, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I haven't. It's it's on my big my my big list of uh, movies that I should have seen. That is a prime Willem Dafoe film. Also, I forget, did I, if I said this on, like, stream or in a video or not, but, uh, one of the other big ones, or, like, I have a lot of big blind spots that I definitely should have seen, given how much I like movies. And I think that's always fun to, to discuss. And my biggest one, outside of Boondock Saints, is, uh, the Godfather movies. I haven't either. Not surprising, um, you don't watch movies. I, I'm I am in charge of the clicking, but I don't know what to do. All right, so let's be legitimate here, not just pick Gabagool because it's funny. Yeah, but Why? I want the power Which, of Gabagool. What would actually be the most badass? <laughs> but most badass superpower would be waking up each morning, getting different kinds of Gabagool. I agree. <laughs> Even think you got some Gabagoo from a Scooby Doo. <laughs> I have seen that video too many times. No, you haven't. You've seen it just enough times. Trash, you can leave. Bagels are not bad. Bagels are perfect. Yeah, All right, no, let's let's move on. A lot of bagels are bad. Trash, right. I, know, I know I was in your camp with the Willem Dafoe thing, but that I'm gonna put a thirty second timer on me, the top before uh, I'm hitting random. Have to turn on. I was gonna say I might put in for random on this one. 
Okay. Whatever. I don't think it'll. I don't oh. think it matters anyway. No, we all pick what we pick anyways. And just like a fight. Bagels are like my favorite food group. Nick, random. Do you select so wait, random? Wait. Please say Do you confirm. Have, if bagel, if bagels was one of the options, Do would it. that just be copying a superpower from one of the actual canonical characters who can just summon bagels out of nowhere? See. Yes, Nicholas, go. Oh, I, I was downstairs getting, uh, I was downstairs getting cookies, cookies and milk, because, yeah. Let me get some. cookies, Nick, bring me cookies. What Did you take cookies? too long to decide on All which right, cookie so you'd I like? I no longer have the power to do so, but just somebody ban trash from Twitch chat. I can do that right now, but I no, won't. No, I agree with them. All There's right, no good American time. bagels. Bagels are starchy, waxy trash. All right. Says the guy <laughs> named um, Trash. I'm still unsure on... Oh, followed up with I know trash. That's, this, who's going? Is someone going play. for smarts? I can't remember. It's a good I am. I All right, then I won't take it. Wait, can um, you scroll to the right, though? Just so I can see what the stats look like right now, because mine are different, so I have to focus on the other one. What else okay. do you need? I'm not done Prince screaming Cal. about bagels. The other one I was thinking about was maybe creativity, but I don't know that it'll get high enough anyways, and I know one of you is going for creativity, so forget it. Not me. <laughs> Kyle, it was me, but it got fucked in the last drink round. Whose turn is it? Mine. It's Do you want nice. creativity? Because I'll take smarts, because uh. I'm trying to make my stats. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, th I, think yeah, I don't want to make my stats good. like the same, you know what I mean? I, I think my smarts are high enough, so I'm going to go creativity if that's cool uh, by you. That's cool by me, because it gives me the ability to split these two, because we still don't know how it works, because someone said it was random, and I, I'd rather just have them split up. My vote is always the spooky castle, because the spooky mm. castle is a spooky castle. I know it's not a castle, I just had to complete the triplicate. All right. Afterwards, you meet up with Aravi and Hex. Ever since you've received that mysterious scroll, you three have been on a long, arduous quest. Quest! Laura! Mm -hmm. Quest! Wait. The quest? Quest! I was quest. Googling quest with a check, with a question mark for some reason. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you want the source of my icon, then that's what you gotta do, baby. Okay. Do yourself mm -hmm. countless Is puzzles, o follow- Oculus quest? No. Quest. quest. What the fuck? You have to accomplish puzzles, problem. followed clue quest, after clue. Check and, quest, question. Prep your inventory, and now you're finally here. The secret location of the Ring of Sustenance. What the fuck? It's just a big dumb wall. This isn't a bagel shop or a dungeon. I want a refund. Wait, Hex, check out those mysterious runes carved into the wall in cuneiform. It translates to sacrifice the blood of a fool to summon the manager of legend. I'm a little upset right now. Why? <laughs> um, I picked smart? smarts to make my stats not the same. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I now just ripple, realize I have triple sevens. Yay, it's lucky. Yeah, yeah. So Nick, Thanks, Nick, Tifa. you're... You're riding high. The game's gonna favor you. <laughs> I yep. would love that. <laughs> Only this game follows away. the rules of bullshit. <laughs> Fine. Well, new, your finger numerology open. Numerology is a universal con uh, concept, Nikki. I mean, it factors true. into every part of our lives, even the video games we Hold play. Hold on, let me check Kyle's stats. I don't see it on In there. this three hour long uh, <laughs> YouTube docu-series, I will I will break down how numerology in various RNG based video games plays a major fact in somebody fucking interrupt me. Okay, <laughs> no, suddenly the ground like below you start shaking. <laughs> the walls crumble away and open up a huge dark cavern. With a bagel shop inside, there's a grand opening site. <laughs> and the line of adventure is out the door and a paper machete bagel on the roof. Train. I like paper machete, bagels. but I like paper machete too. <laughs> no, paper machete. Wait, Nick, did you just say paper machete? Yeah, it's you a did. paper machete. Yeah. It's a paper machete. <laughs> paper machete. That's how you get mad. Paper machete, don't text. You what? Paper machete what is before. this place? Did I eat too much paint again? It's when you bring Danny Trejo to arts and crafts. Am what? I hallucinating? You're yeah, approached by a goblin. Kill it. Very well. Goblin! Um. Hail well and well oh, met, adventurers. Tis I, the manager. <laughs> you have done well to reach this place. Welcome to the Ring of Sustenance. I can't wait to kill the manager. It was a goblin, and the only thing I've done is. Dahlia, I'm taking this one. True. <laughs> wait a minute. This place makes no goddamn sense. Is it a dungeon? 
Can I shoot you with my crossbow for experience points? Sorry, I'm you. Sort of. Yes. Oh, Nick. Sorry. Shut Nicholas. <laughs> Suck my balls. I can't tell it's a character. I see the quotations now. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Sort of. You see, this place used to be a legendary dungeon built to challenge the strength of humanity and protect the secret power of the gods. But then Supergiant brought it out, and now it's called Hades. Um, hey. hey. What? Um, nope. <laughs> but we ran in, into a, you know, cash flow problem. Uh, dungeons are wildly unprofitable, turns out. Uh, er, er, wildly unprofitable. Turns out, inviting adventurers to loot your treasure is a bad business model. Who knew? So we've rebranded. Welcome to the Ring of Sustenance, the world's first ex-dungeon bagel shop. Enjoy the handmade bagels and the many lethal traps. I like bagels. I, I bagels. like lethal traps. Yeah. That is not so such a bad cool. idea. What did? I said I had a great bagel today. I had a great lethal trap today. There was there was like a punji pit with like darts that shot out. I had to jump over. It was it was excellent. Oh, that's classic. That's a classic epic trap. As hell. <laughs> Sorry, please continue. It's not such a bad idea, actually. All the fun of bagels with all the mortal danger of a dungeon. Fuck it. Let's get some bagels. Uh, Jux, I'm pretty sure the way you spelled quest there is the proper way to spell it. That's that's how I spell it with a W. Do, do normal people not do that? Uh, regardless. Click. Oh, you're going to rush me on time now. Yes. Go on. Choppy choppy. That's you. That is me. You all go buy some bagels and you have to jump over several spike pits to get to the cashier. You trip and get stabbed, but your pumpernickel ba bagel smells delicious. Maybe <laughs> Honestly, you know? I would fall into a, I would fall into a punji pit for a pumpernickel bagel that was properly smeared. Yeah, why not? Mm. After that, you three hit up the schmear station for cream cheese. Schmear cheese. station. <laughs> Um, there's a grumpy looking goblin guard standing in front of it, and he immediately starts screaming at you. Laura, Twitter handle! Grumpy looking Greetings. goblin guard. Tizai! Gnomes, Lax, the Schmear Guardian. If you wish to enjoy the creamed cheese upon your bagel, you must best me in the Battle of Wits. I'm just taking all the off-screen goblins, I've decided. <laughs> That's my goal. My thing in this stream is Dahlia and the off-screen goblins. You it's may band name. choose any of many schmears, but be one. One of these cream cheeses is chock full of dirty pies. But which one? This is my dark game. <laughs> Damn, Colin. <laughs> so, it's a randomized life or death skill check. Fuck yes. We'll play your game, Nuzlax. It's for an ounce. <laughs> Nicola. Nicola. Focus, Aravi. If we lose the game, we won't get any cream cheese. A bagel without any cream cheese just means a bagel. We have to get this right. Thanks for the pressure. If we lose the game, we don't get no cream cheese. No cream Five cheese. Five massive lukewarm oh, vats of cream cheese are in front of you. Oh. Which one is poisoned? Guess right, and you'll hopefully impress your two hottest friends. I just don't fuck up. Five tubs of cream cheese. Um, trick question. All of the cream cheeses are poisoned <laughs> with chemical additives and refined sugars. Christ. Smart. Um, That's smart. Or it's obviously labeled poisoned flavored cream cheese. So one of them is smart and one of them is creativity? Maybe? <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like the top one might be smart. Or bold? 
I uh, honestly am at a loss the, on this one. Right. So we can take Reading hold on. <laughs> real, I was like, real quick, I feel like we can probably take charm and fun out of this. Well, I mean, charm is definitely my. Uh... Yeah, but I'm like, neither of those smack of being a charm stat check unless they pull some bullshit. What do you guys think in chat? Let us know. They've they've pulled plenty of bullshit on us. Yeah. Yeah. Especially at the end. I feel like the bottom one is smart. If, but when if I one see of all, I so, see the letters, and I think... The bottom one is so matter of fact that I feel like I kind of agree with Nick. Probably smart. And the top one, I think, is uh, honestly... It, it just feels bold because of the, all the Trick capitals, question. but I've been fucked before. I would okay. say the the top one, honestly, I think actually, now that I think about it, I think the top one might be charm or bold. I don't think the top one's charm because it's really. Because it's, it's, it's figuring out. It's figuring out. Do either one of them seem creative? Or no, sorry, you I know meant. What I mean? uh, oh no! Yeah. Yeah, I, I have very literally no idea on this one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I'm going with the trick okay, question yeah, for 500 Regis, but I'm not confident, and I'm just going to yeah. pretend to be sad because it'll make this loss feel better. Okay, I'm not going to look. I'm just going to listen to what Nick says. He blew it. Oh. <sighs> Nick, hit what the undo button quick. <laughs> that was creativity. <laughs> it's Colin's fault. I'm just saying. Um, um, well, yeah, no, that's why I joined the stream. I, I joined the stream specifically to poison everyone's run. Well, congrats. If there's one thing that pisses you, you off, it's I joined, the, I joined the stream to poison everyone's run and do Dahlia and then also goblin voices. That's it. Um, You go on a three minute. Ah, damn it, I should have gone with the bottom one. Three minute rant about the dangers of refined sugars. Seriously, Yahweh? <laughs> Do you have to be such a bummer about this? Yeah, if God didn't want us to eat chemical additives, we'd be mere mortals burdened with sufficient consciousness to invent them. Ever think of that? I respect your strong values, but Hex has taught me. <laughs> Oops, dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hex has taught me that sometimes you need to chill out about stuff. You're right in the middle of a battle of wits. We can't get distracted by... Wait. News my Are you crying? I'm sorry. I'm very sensitive to criticism about my cream cheeses. I don't remember the actual voice I gave this character. It's fine. I make them myself from my very own goblin sex. Goblin sex. But then. Oh, wait, I have to karate chop myself in the throat to say this name. But then, ah, accuse me of using art of... <laughs> now I don't feel like doing a battle of wits anymore. Oh, come on, Guzma. We were all having such a fun time, buddy. You can't quit right in the middle of the battle. Boy. Don't love this. Don't, don't love this lowly peon in with the likes of Guzma. You just talked down about a goblin. As in it's your boy Guzma? Yeah, but not yeah. for being a goblin. Yeah. I just talked out about him because he's, he's not Guzma. Old, he's, just, he's just a big old crybaby. <gasps> no, it's too late for you. I'm going to spoil the whole thing. The strawberry cream cheese is poison. And for your information, it was poisoned with artificial sugars. It was poisoned with poison. <laughs> Otherwise, it's completely organic. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, come back, Guzlax. I would make you feel better if I stab Ali with my dagger of infinite internal bleeding. I hope Wait. everybody was incredibly uncomfortable with that. Mm -hmm. He's oh, gone. You. That was my goal. I wanted to make everyone I'm feel bad. Always uncomfortable. Yeah, he's go. gone. Nice one, Owie. You whoa, defeated whoa, the cream whoa, cheese wait, goblin Nick. with your terrible personality. Nick, yes. you need to read that nice again. Nice one. Nice. 
Your friends are pissed at you and you decide to eat your bagel alone with only strong moral principles to keep you company. You spear on a huge glob of the organic strawberry cream cheese on your bagel. Nothing tastes better than sticking by your values. You take a huge bite of your bagel and immediately feel the poison ripping through your body. You use negative three fun. <laughs> That's what you get, you big jerk! Nick, you ruined a secret ending. What else is there? <laughs> is it is it a hundred percent ruined though? Yes. Yeah. Probably. Welcome to Monster yes. Prom. It's over when it's over. Anyway. That was Nick, that was a tough one though. <laughs> take 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 it from a professional loser. You fuck up one encounter and you lose forever. Uh, yeah, go figure, out of all my fucking stats, all the ones that are fucking even. Yeah. Like fun was even. It just had to be the one that's lower than everything else. Although Gout I've been HQ, told please. it's random anyway, so I don't know. But anyway, where would you like to go, in Green Boy? Yeah, HQ, please. Aw, look at look at look at Brian. He's, he's making a little <laughs> little yeah. lean to. You managed to extricate yourself from that situation just in time to nearly trip over Calculester. He's crouched on the ground, intently studying his glass prison full of bombs. I mean, they had farm. That's what those are called. Oh, friend, can I? Friend, can I be? I haven't said that name in forever. You can't even read your own name correctly. <laughs> I wasn't to see you, probably. Right. No, just because I haven't read that name in like I don't know two hours. Oops. Why the, is is your name that? Because you're like E.B. Wan Kenibi. Like, what the hell is your name? No, I was going to name myself, and I was like, uh, can I be? And then Nick just typed, can I be? So I'm can I be. Oh, uh, Ken for and sure. I okay. Yes. As you can see, Nick. I am once again attempting to understand the complexities of organic life by way of this ant terrarium. Nikki, bonus points. That's that's a funny bit. I like. Oh, that, I've been doing actually. that one for a long he, time. He's been that's... trying to do that forever, but no one ever keeps the name. So I said, yeah, I always write it, but everyone yeah, always but, denies like, it. Look, looking at it and phonetically works. I. My my first thought was like, is he doing some kind of weird Star Wars bit where it's like almost Kenobi, but it's not Kenobi. I, w I wasn't sure. <laughs> this is a character from one of your weeb shows that I'm not up on. Nope. I don't know. They're brief, numerous lives provide the perfect data set for training my neural net. If only all beings died and reproduced so rapidly. <laughs> In the course of my research, however, I have begun to worry. Are these ants spiritually fulfilled? Tell me, can I be? As an expert in organic life, the spiritual fulfillment consists of dragging food through tunnels and then vomiting it into the mouth of your all-powerful queen? Yeah. Laura? Yeah. You're not sure you even have a soul, let alone spiritual fulfillment. But whatever it is, it's probably not the vomit thing. You tell him so. and then you click the button. No. <laughs> oh dear, if my little ant friends are not spiritually fulfilled, how will I ever be able to deduce the true nature of happiness from their behavior? Friend, can I be? Please help me. How can I catapult this humble ant society to a higher plane of existence? Your first thought is with an actual catapult, but Damien borrowed yours for homework a few weeks back and never returned it. Time for plan B. The ants need something to look forward to besides eating and dying. Introduce them to the word of God. Oh, Jason. <laughs> Help the ants appreciate the zany side of work by creating and producing the office, but for ants. Uh, that sounds like fun. Hmm. Uh, my only stat that's higher than that is smarts, and I don't know that the top one is, is smarts. Uh, oh. Not being able to see the stats properly is really fucking with me. What's your creative? I don't know. Can you scroll to the right, Nick? Oops. Nick? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> He's like, Oops. no. I'm in the kitchen putting no, my feet in the sink. I my mouse. Why? It right, wasn't so my moving, creativity so I had is, to move it. My creativity is tied for my second highest. Yeah, because I don't think the top one is smart, so I think I'm just going to go for the bottom one. That's fun. Yeah, or, that's what or what we do. Maybe. Yeah, to confirm, weird. you would like the bottom one, yes? Si, senor. 
Hey. Daddy. Ah, this is why I consult organic beings whenever possible. I never would have come up with such a solution. I did give them all tiny ant-sized televisions because staring at screens seems to be one of the main ways organics express their self-actualization. But I never got as far as actually broadcasting anything on those screens. It is a brilliant idea. Bolstered by Calculus's encouragement, you set about creating a hilarious slice of life sitcom starring John Kranzinski, Jen Ant <laughs> Fisher, and regular Steve Carell somehow. That's funny. The Office, but for ants, is a huge success. The ants share their favorite gifts on Ant Twitter and compare the drudgery of their own work to the hilarious drudgery of the TV show. This is fantastic. This simple creation of a wacky facsimile of the ants' dull and unfulfilling lives has somehow made them more fulfilled. It is almost as if all entertainment is merely sleight of hand to distract tiny organic minds from the crushing weight of existence. Oh no, maybe he's right. Maybe all that time you spent binging the actual office has numbed you to the injustice of capitalism and destroyed your ability to appreciate real life. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. wrong, friend, can I be? You up here distressed. Can I offer you some nourishing food or a handshake? On second thought, seeing Calculus's unfailing sweetness reminds you that real life is truly as beautiful and you haven't lost your ability to appreciate real life relationships. After all, it's not like Calculus is a simulated being inside a piece of entertainment designed to distract you from the pain of living, right? Here, I have plus two mana and plus one charisma, and don't think too much about it. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, continue to the Demo Dome. Danny Young, Danny mm. Young, but you're already so charming. The Doug Demo Dome. I feel okay. like at this point it won't matter if I get other stats, though. Well, the Domesdale Dome Dome. We are doing a short game, so you your stats have to be don't have to be as high as the long game. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh well. Dome Dome. Guess it's too late now. All right. Mm -hmm. Later, we help Joy test out some of her latest potions. You down a mysterious vial of green bubbling elixir, and wait to feel its effects. Did it work, Arn? Do you feel any less horny? Mm -hmm. Joy leans in super close, checking your pupils for dilation. You shake your head. The potion didn't work. You're still super horny. Either that, or you're just in love with Joy. Eh, whatever. That potion's the only effect about 40% of the time. Plus, I think I might actually miss your rampant horniness if you were cured. I guess you're growing on me. On or in? E both. Oh, by the way, you should come to my show tonight. Remember my screamo band, Ventagram? I'm the lead singer, Damien and Dahlia backup. Well, we've got a gig. We're playing at the shit church. You know, that super mm -hmm. shitty bar that they built in the band church? I know you've seen it before, but shit church makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I always imagine that Colin is an absolute regular there. I know I would walk into that place and see you even if we didn't plan to meet. That sounds about right. right He's Colin? gone. He's peeing. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Uh -huh. I assume. Absolutely uh -huh. correct, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people I feel like you would have popped for that. <laughs> shit church with other nearby church bar ass, cha ass chapel. But shit church has way more ghosts. And the drinks are half price after 11. You should come tonight. Although... One of those potions I gave you has a ray of side effect that makes you turn into a literal bull. So, if you're busy, I get it. Holy shit. Joy just invited you to her show. That's basically a date. This is your chance to show her how serious you are about having sex with her by being Ventigram's number one fan. Ventigram is pretty popular, though the chances are there'll be tons of horny fans at the show. You'll have to distinguish yourself from the crowd to get Joy to notice you. That night, you show up to shit church. It's fucking terrifying. The whole bar is filled with ghosts, Grimo fans, and Catholic priests. You can't tell if everyone's speaking in tongues or if they're just really drunk. Also, there are no bathrooms, just wormholes to hell that people are pissing directly into. Yep. 
This bar is definitely the most terrifying single location you've ever been in. It's the perfect place for a Screamo show. And look, there's Ventagram. Mm-hmm. Looks like you showed up, Arm. I'm happy you're here. And I and that I didn't accidentally turn you into a bull. You would have been a cute bull though. Hey Arn! Guard your eyes because Ventagram is about to rip them out with sound! Ventagram shreds! Indeed! We're gonna wage war body with sound! Come on, Damien. Let's beat the shit out of each other to warm up! Thanks for coming, Arn. We're about to go on, so I should change into my outfit. If you're an extra enthusiastic fan, can you help me take it off after the show? Hmm. <coughs> God, you're in love with this hot feminist witch, and Ventigram's about to start. What's your strategy for being the most awesome fan of all time? Any fan can clap and cheer. You'll celebrate Ventigram's greatness by performing a blood pagan ritual in their, ha in their honor. I was about to say honor. Honor's good. <laughs> An average fan would wear a t-shirt with the band's name on it, but you're no average fan. <clears throat> You'll wear a t-shirt with the band member's social security numbers. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, what? Yeah, you are in unison. I feel like this is a setup. <laughs> Laura demands sacrifice. Um, I'm gonna guess. Neither of those are charming. No, not at all. You wouldn't be charmed by someone wearing your social security number on their shirt? I feel like the top one would be fun. I think the top might be creativity? I don't know. Or the or bottom. The, or the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. The bottom one might be smart. So the bottom one could also be boldness. Yeah, doxing your friends is bold. I feel like it's bold or smart. Mm -hmm. Aiding an identity theft seems bolder than it is whatever top the top one, one feels is. creative, the bottom one feels bold, if you ask me for my opinion. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably what I'd go with, but I don't know. It's a weird one. Yeah. Get your puppy. Puppy? Get your puppy. Ask Woodsy what he would do. Jesus. Oh, he's waiting for me to take him out to pee, actually. He's eat his shit. So that's not an option, unfortunately. Yes. I I think the top one, but I don't know. Yeah. I do too, but not with much conviction. All right, let's yeah. just do it. Fuck it. Nicholas? Top one confirmed. Top one final answer. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Bold. Ugh. What the hell could Sorry, the bottom dude. one have been then? Fine. <laughs> You know, hopefully I still get it. You know exactly what to do. A pagan sacrifice ritual. It'll ensure that this gig goes well and prove you're the greatest fan ever. Just one problem. Who showed you sacrifice? <laughs> Who showed? <laughs> you see a little elderly nun standing quietly in the corner of the bar. You approach and ask her who she would sacrifice in a bloody pagan ritual. Hmm, what a conundrum. I suppose you could sacrifice me, dearie. Usually I stay here to make cookies for all the nice young people that do their music concerts here. But now I yearn for death. <laughs> and I'm the only sober, I'm the only sober enough. I'm the only yep. <laughs> sober, okay. To call an ambulance when somebody gets stabbed. But if you're truly in need, please go right ahead and sacrifice my life. Oh, Score! Yeah. This dumb numb is ready to die. Just to... What? Be nice? Help you score a date? What a moron. You start preparing the ritual right away. <coughs> a little later, the lights go down. A spotlight illuminates Joy in the middle of the stage. She looks confident, powerful, and hot. Apparently, being in a band is sexy. Who knew? Hey, shitheads, we are Ventagram. We are here to fuck you up and eat men's organs. Wait, what the fuck? Who drew a pagan sacrifice circle in the middle of the dance floor? Joy looks down and sees a massive pentagram that you drew in the floor. 
You've tied the elderly nun to the center of it. Her life force is being drained slowly and painfully. <laughs> what the? Er, sorry. Huh? What the fuck? Is that supposed to be a pe pentagram? Did is it got a drunk child draw it? It's taking up the whole mosh zone! Rudy's got the mosh. Rudy's got the mosh, the mosh, the mosh, 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 mosh zone. zone. Rudy's got the mosh, the mosh. Rudy's got, got the, the mosh! mosh. Thank you. Plus, it's totally Big. noob shit to sacrifice a nun. It's just fucking cliche at this point. Be yeah. not yet. And killing a person at all is completely uncalled for. No one asked for this arm. What's wrong with you? Yes, B, the choice was indeed fucked up. Oh, shit. You're interrupting the show and the crowd is turning on you. You try to explain to Joy the sacrifice ritual will ensure that Ventagram's gig goes well. But the elderly nun screaming really drowns you out. God, she's Aww. shrieking a lot. What an annoying nun. Sorry, dearies, I didn't mean to interrupt your wonderful music concert with my shouts. It's just that the pain is excruciating. Ah! <laughs> I zoned out. How did, how did you fuck up that choice? Yeah, it was impossible. That's why. Um, this is classic toxic fandom. No one asked for y'all to do this. And now you're just using all music as a flimsy excuse to do horrible shit. Get the fuck out of this bar right fucking now. Uh oh. Sounds happy. You are the first person in history to ever get kicked out of shit church. Wow, you must have a really bad personality. Joy hates you, and since you killed the innocent nun, now God hates you. God curses you as punishment for your sins, which makes you lose minus three charm. You had a lot of charm. Fuck you, God. Yeah, bitch. You big old bitch. We you big old bitch. You Patricia, where you going? aching dickhole. <laughs> um, the lake is fun, right? Yeah. Let's do some fun. I, Let's have do some we have, fun. Do we have voices for the lifeguards yet? By the we way. haven't run into them. <gasps> oh. I'm Ooh. calling dibs for myself and also Laura for the lifeguard. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Later, you're sitting around fantasizing about what it would be like if Daria asked you on a date. Would you Would you head to the gym? Visit a battlefield? Go dancing, DDR? I have the top score on Butterfly. <laughs> oh, hey, Katricia. Listen, uh, uh, I, I have an emergency. I, I need to take you to dinner tonight. Will you be my date? Yeah, check yes or no. Holy shit! Oh, you're also shit. <laughs> you're also wondering what it would be like to suddenly inherit a million dollars from a mysterious wealthy relative you've never met right now. Okay, that's not how it works apparently, but still, it's a date. And you meet Dolly at a high class restaurant. Damn, she really went all out for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just shows up in the default <laughs> outfit. I love it. Thank you for coming, Katrisha. Allow me to hold open the door and pull out your chair for you. In the same motion. <laughs> Look at my wingspan. Now, shall we have some romantic mood lighting? I brought my own candle just in case the restaurant didn't have one. Alia pulls an already lit candle out of her pocket and sets it on the table. Fancy. Good touch. Move. Big flex. No ideas. Okay. Now that's out of the way. Um, I love what you're wearing tonight. It, it makes you look very handsome and oh beautiful. Okay, you're about to say ditto when you realize Dahlia is frantically flipping through some kind of guidebook. Okay, uh, I'm supposed to kiss your hand now, I, I, I think. All right, give it here. 
Oh. Hey, somebody who isn't me. Somebody <laughs> who isn't me do it before I do it. I'll what's happening? No, no. Oh, sorry. No, you can. Somebody. No, else. go ahead. If you want it, you have the least voices. I don't. All right, fine. No, no, Dahlia. Slow down. You're skipping ahead a few steps. First, you have to order app your appetizers. Then ask your dad about themselves <laughs> and listen politely. It's me, the coach. I finally found it two thirds of the way through the fucking dialogue. <laughs> Why don't you start at the top? This time, don't be too eager to go for the compliments and physical affection. Your attitude should be inviting, but with an air of mystery. <clears throat> Got it, coach. Mysteriously inviting. I'll start back at the pulling the chair out. Atta girl, if you need me, I'll be taking a dump <laughs> on the big fern over there. Don't be afraid to holler for help. Okay, Katricia. Let's uh, let let's just real quick, let's just try this again. You look very handsome and obedient tonight. Please tell me everything about your child. <laughs> Um. Oh, didn't you know? I I'm trying to earn my Roman first aid badge. Coach is here scoring me to see if I'm eligible to receive it. I've been practicing all week. I was so eager to get started, I, I must have forgot to tell you. It it's okay that he's here, right? This badge is really important to me. Well, it's not the exact scenario you'd imagined for your first big date with Dahlia, but you'll take it. Besides, you want to see her succeed. Because then she might succeed, am I uh -huh. right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna go take a shower and then see myself out. I don't feel good about saying that. I'm gonna go I'm take gonna a dump go. behind that fern. Thanks, Nick. You'd it was excellent word. <laughs> Maybe you can even help her further. What show-stopping date maneuver could you pull to ensure Dahlia gets her badge? <laughs> I like the term date maneuver. <laughs> Go for the overkill. Don't just pay for the bill. Pay for all the bills. Ooh, for this date will never flies. be enough. <laughs> Everyone knows it takes 10,000 hours to achieve mastery, so implant artificial memories of thousands of dates into Dahlia's brain. Mm. Yeah, invasive. eternal reverse eternal sunshine. That bitch, do it. I'd like to go See for the top happened. one because the bottom one makes me uncomfortable. But wait. <laughs> oh no, never mind. Okay, money's not a stat in this game, right? Even though it wasn't a stat in the other one. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But it totally fucking was. Yeah. Right. Yes. I don't think the top is smarts or creativity. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it. So the top. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I am not, 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 not giving any Yeah. yeah. So That's not my Y'all and Dolly are going to have a lovely goddamn date. I'm so happy I'm dating. <laughs> 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 After two hours of eating and chatting, the bill comes. Ah, time to pay. Don't worry, Katricia. I brought my designer war spoil just to cover the meal. Not if you have anything to say about it. Dinner is on you tonight. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared. That, 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 that's, that, uh, that's sweet of you, but I, I got this. I make plenty of money pillaging lesser kingdoms. <laughs> you don't doubt it. We stand an independent earner. But you explain you're not just paying for your bill, you are paying all the bills. Everyone here okay. named Bill. Some gets free bills. Food. Real quick before we move on, Dan, did that horrifying noise come from your esophagus? What noise? 
there was some horrifying kind of <laughs> noise that occurred and somebody said, excuse me, or sorry, or something. Is that your booty butt cheeks? Oh, maybe no. my, com- my computer's just haunted that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, so I move I, on. I usually make noises. I agree, but that, I didn't make anything. <laughs> Well, you stand up and go around the restaurant, pay everyone's tabs. Nobody knows what's happening, but they're definitely in no hurry to stop you. Wow, that was a really nice gesture. To me, the coach. It sure was, so I stopped there. You leave the restaurant amidst wild applause and hop from business to business, paying every bill. You cover a people's car loan installments, their dental bills, some guys down payment on a rare Shetland pony that's been bred to have six feet. Rare, you say? Mm-hmm. You make it all the way to the federal government where you pay, or no, where you bribe every politician in sight to pass bills you support. Bills equals paid. Oh, hell yes! Patricia, can you pay this guy to make muscle tax? D- Muscles tax deductible. Excuse me. Ooh, and let's pass a bill officially changing our national ad- side to side by Ariana Grande. I love politics. Sorry if me punching my mic came through. <laughs> wow, kids, I couldn't be more impressed. Katrina's gestures really took this day into overtime, if you know what I mean. Welcome to the Space Jam. That was a reference I was not, I, I was not anticipating. This is a reference you expect from the coach. Ah, oh, thanks, coach. I was wondering why they, why that potted fern was following us everywhere. Yeah, I need to go return to the restaurant before they call the police. But before I go, here's a romantic first date badge for each of you. I'm the coach and well done. You're also strong bad a little bit. Don't, <laughs> Kyle, don't tell them how the sausage is made. Fuck yeah! Politics, pillaging, and victory? This is the best date I've ever gone on. Ditto, you also pass a bill stating your badge is worth the exact amount of legal tender that you use to pay all those bills, because there's no other way you could afford it. You and Dahlia go on to learn the cutest after-date snuggling badge, and later the plus two fun and plus one smart badge. That's durable. So cute. We're so cute. V cute. The last day of summer is Big here. Fan. What you gonna do? Uh, Ain't much I can uh, do. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for Cal, even though I never got to sit with him at the fire, so who knows. Thanks for the sub. Eggs, we appreciate you. Thank you. I mean, I gotta go with my girl, even though she hates me, apparently. She oh. only had to do that one time. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Joy's my girl. Milo's my homie. Sometimes. That's fair. Mm-hmm. I do love Milo. 24-7. Dahlia? Yeah. Dahlia. Look at those yams. Yes. Yes. Always pick. Oh, cool. Last. <laughs> Finally got the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. You desire a summer fling with me? <clears throat> what a colorful proposal. I see the misunderstanding. You know that I want to experience life on its various forms. In. Oh no, it's on. This is a correct observation. However, there are some aspects of life I have no interest in exploring. Dating you is one of those aspects of life I just mentioned. Ooh. Did you did you get rejected? I yes. don't think he got any answers wrong though, did he? I don't nope. recall. I never got to sit with him at the fire because Nick took it. 
Yeah, that but that shouldn't doesn't be mean... enough. Yeah, that shouldn't. And yeah, that only think, gets you plus effective, I I, but some of the characters don't require that. I think I did miss one, but I don't think it matters. I think I might have needed some creativity to go along with my smarts. Aww. Mm -hmm. I see how one could get confused about that. What a silly misunderstanding, friend, can I be? Nothing good comes from this. Oof. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Until Coach hey, appears to give you the Monster Scouts badge for surviving a great deal of embarrassment. I love the X face. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a new one. He's super proud of you. He records you being rejected and has uploaded it to the internet to share the exact moment at which you earned the badge. You become an internet sensation. Still, you're devastated, aside from being famous for being pathetic. You try to cover the hole in your heart with your newly acquired badge. The hole is figurative, you dumb dumb. <laughs> no. Dumb dumb got me. That All right, Colin's you finally gathered the courage, and you, you effed it up at the end with an impossible question. We might have all failed. <laughs> I doubt you failed, honey. You nailed everything. I don't think I got all the right stats, though. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what all these stats are. Well, Dan's turn on this one. Let's see where it's went. Daniel? I already read it. I already read it. Oh, I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. You want to be a sum of fling, huh? That's so nice of you, but eh. <laughs> I wish that was where the dialogue Whoa, ended. Did you hear um, that? I just heard a strange noise. I think it was some evil of sorts lurking somewhere and plotting to destroy the world. I'd love to give you an answer, but duty calls. Oof. You cannot bear the social stigma of being rejected at summer camp. The only logical solution to you is trying to turn failure into the next cool thing among youngsters. You spend many hours creating rather unfunny memes and being very annoyed in general, or annoying in general. Oh no. Failure as a cool thing and never takes off as you would expect. Damn it. Just move on. This is starting to be sad. It feels like every monster prom we play. <laughs> Why do you yeah. people like us? <laughs> well, we've kept we've kept double digit viewers this entire stream. Next time I'm going to join the secret channel and not tell Cohen. <laughs> you finally gathered and blah, blah, blah. Did did anyone did anyone shout out uh, Emma Spoo for yep. uh, subbing? I, yeah. I, huh? I did. Okay, sorry. I was in the midst of ordering food. I was aware I didn't have to read lines yet. Mm. Oh, good. Bro, it's 12 o'clock at night. Where are you ordering from? Fucking Denny's, duh. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry Wait. for your loss. You want to be my summer fling? Plot twist. What about the bagels? Gotta pass. I've been already cursed by Hex. Who needs to add the curse of dating someone who kind of sucks? Can I, mm. can I date Hex? No. no! I'm cursed enough as it is. Rip. Bye. Dick. Oh. Yeah. God, <laughs> At least Hex feels bad. They're like, yeah, you, do heck, uh, you can feel, you can feel that bagel. fart cloud just staring me down with absolute depression. We would have shared mm -hmm. so many bagels. The pain of rejection is too much. You decide to take that day to devote your life to weightlifting. Daniel, mm -hmm. you will weightlift mm -hmm. your pain away. Mm. Uh, Fuck summer love. Your new goal in life is weightlifting in the Olympic Games. Yay. Finally, you think Murica 2032 will be your best shot at the gold medal. Unfortunately, that year they decided to change the rules, so you need to prove that you had a summer love in order to be eligible for the Olympics. Nice. Hey guys, do, you, do, you, do you guys remember that time where you are? You cut yeah. out, bud. What? Do you guys remember that time you were playing Monster Camp and then I showed up and then everyone lost? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Well, not it reminds me of that time play. that uh, the same thing happened with Monster Prom and then yes. every other Monster Prom playthrough, you were near the computer. There's <laughs> yeah. something about you couldn't lift yourself into summer love. How can you lift any other kind of weight? You spend the rest of your life crying in a corner. Oh, this is getting real. That weight's name. Come on, Laura. We believe in you. Laura, you're our last hope. <laughs> I gather the courage to ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. All right. A summer fling between you. 
Aaron, so we cut you? Out. Yeah, you're cutting out big time. Uh, yes. A summer fling is an essential part of having the best summer ever. <laughs> Look, I even had it on my list. Almost forgot. Come on. Good catch, Catfisher. I'm glad I have you. Yeah. Yeah. Summer fling <laughs> off my list together. In the ultimate yeah. betrayal, she takes the water nymph and kicks you aside. <laughs> she just checks it off and she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Don't More tell the soul. Yay! The last day of summer camp was awesome. Look at all those diglets. I did it. I'm taking credit for this. Shut up, Colin. Yeah, up, you Colin. can take credit for the other three, but not this one. I have I have very little else to take credit <laughs> for it within the Monster Prom canon. <laughs> Daria designed a sexy weightlifting regimen to do together. Aw. That's focused a lot on strengthening the glutes and pelvis. It's just you doing, like, leg presses, but the weight is, like, her butt. <laughs> God damn it, Colin, you dumb Brit at us. Was that a really funny joke? Yeah. Yeah, I you was, I was like, gonna be a little upset if you didn't get it. Hey, put on my crown. Love Britta, but. <laughs> on the cat? Here you go. Oh, also, I have to skip this because yeah, uh, skip Susan's this. an absolute shut. Nope, oh, sorry. Right. You can't even get no, more than four seconds of that. It, so it doesn't count. Sorry, friends at home. We love that hey, song. We, we love big, that animation. We got a big gooey, gooey cup of ghost jism. A ghost and a cup of goo. Goops. A, go a ah, cup of goo. A gobble goo. A gobble of goo. It's a cup of goo to eat with your gobble goo. You've unlocked the casket wine. You get from a <laughs> I really like that. Everyone, everyone uh, if you want to see more content, follow. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that looks really like, like what that. Colin drinks always. I like that a lot. Drinks. You unlock the loyalty lemonade with a green vibrator inside of it. it it's because we lose um, all the time, but we stay loyal to Also, the because I'm sad, I'm going to go look at the gallery. Also, do dude, that background was awesome. Initially, we planned to release this gallery a couple months after release, similar to what we did with Monster Prom. Marketing non-essential features is a lower priority, but we've been seeing so much desire for this gallery, we're putting it in the first version earlier than we planned. Yay. Oh, that picture. It's cute. It's art. Also, yeah, Laura, art. congratulations. We're going to update more over the following weeks slash months. Expect the scalar to be updated every now and then with new content. Ooh. Okay, see, here are all the failure screens, the ones that were extremely useful. Mm -hmm. um, this... None of us is successfully yeah, yeah, I feel like those would be useful to screen cap and use for other shit. They really would. They really, really would. Oh, huh. variation. I was say, literally just. Oh, just, look. Like, go, the Brian one has to be in there. There it is. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't uh, know that you could change too, it. If he wasn't so bent over, I would say it would work. But oh, say, there, no. That. Nikki, real quick, because you're the Photoshop boy. Dolly, what nice do you little, want, honey? A nice little uh, belly laugh going. That, no, back, 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 back. Back. That, forward one. That one. Nope. No, the Brian one. Brian. That Brian one? Yes. Put my spud head on it. I'm using yep. it for a background, for a, a wallpaper. <laughs> All right, I'll make sure to tint you green. Uh, Bro, that would actually be very funny. Uh, I would just crop that out and use the green version of my spud head for stuff. Oh, we got the art back. Yeah. Right. Yowzas. Although, that's, it that's looks that's like fun. that's... Oh, oh, okay. I see it goes down. Those backgrounds, characters. <gasps> it's my stats. favorite. Little Kenny mm. knows his knife. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and my Dolly other favorite the with the alpaca. It's so good. Thing. I wish I had this when I was making the first icons for Monster Camp. That would have made things a lot easier. Can you look up stats? I'm curious what's under stats. Stats? Well, there's nothing new under there, so nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume nothing. Hey Laura, hey, under where? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. You said underwear. Oh, okay, that's funny. I like that, bro. This is cool. Nope. This is cool. Oh, so that that characters thing is neat. Hold on, click somebody. Yeah, it, yeah, you can. Oh, you, I the, see. It wasn't. Can, it wasn't hitting before. You cycle through all their all their shit. That's kind of neat. That's adorable. She's Francisca von Karma. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Jessica, still. Oh, we no. didn't see this before. You <laughs> did. Today. I don't. I didn't remember yeah. seeing the bag. Or sorry, the pillow. No, we didn't see the whole thing. I think it was kind of. <laughs> that's outside. that's excellent. Yeah. I don't think James Expectant's gonna help on this one. Excellent. <laughs> no, because mm-hmm. it, it changes what Hex is doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. How so dare you? So good. How do you? That's Did you really call cool. that a penis? I like, I like that that's a thing. That's it, um, cute. Neat. How many... Oh, so oh shit! Oh my god, this is gonna make icons so much easier. It's like, it's so like much everybody easier. that we've met so far. Oh mm-hmm. god, there are 12 pages oh, worth by of the way. Covers. Uh, Colin, I don't know if you were. Oh, you know, I don't think I even talked about it. But I. <laughs> no, Nikki, I feel like. I feel um, like hold on a minute. I don't understand who's on the street now. Spoiling funny jokes. That's just a lamp. Don't worry about it. I oh, pre-ordered I see. the. Uh, I pre-ordered hey, it's Cat. The... Nope, that's Milo's biggest fan. I, I don't pre-ordered think we... the Switch Collector's Edition, and it comes with a full 72 page art book with all the characters and their outfits. Bruh. That's awesome. Yeah, Can you and click a, on Moss? And a yearbook. It comes with. Uh, no. No, I can't. I, okay, I think I'm good right here. He wanted us to click on Moss. Full screen. Fine. So I wasn't. I wasn't here for for this chunk of the stream, but uh, Minotaur guy. Uh, that was you. last uh, playthrough. You would know if you watched our videos. Okay. Who do you think you are, Kyle? Uh, no, because hey, look, it's the it, it's, it's the bear. Uh, no. Just kidding. It's not no, for much. <laughs> um, who did B want to see? Moss. Moss. The Minotaur is one of Joy's villains who's at the rival camp across the pond playing with Dimitri. I love him. He's he's very cute. This is the final boss that I crushed Laura's hopes and dreams on. Is that Thanatos? No, this is just you in high school. Video game Haiti. Gerard. Hey, Laura! Think, literally, it's hey, it's me! Is that <laughs> Dusa from the hid video game? <laughs> it's me, the bird. It's Let's me. see if stats opens up anything. Oh, okay, it's just one of these. Okay, got it. Mm. Uh, so far, we've completed four runs. Success endings. Mm. Four. Uh, you know what? I'll take a four out of four. That's one four, win every four, round! Success endings, four of seven. Oh, technically six because secret endings. Don't are know separate. what that means. That was one of Joy's evil ex. <laughs> We've actually seen her on this channel I twice. Like, I like I like outcomes. Ninety four. I don't know what a love log variation is, but forty four. I'm pretty sure whatever Coach was making in that potted plant was the love log. I think Dookie? that's when two characters sit on the log that we haven't done. Yeah, that oh. makes sense. Damien, but make oh. that our outro screen. We've yeah. done that already. I know, but I don't care. I do love it. Yeah. I make it the icon, this one's also pretty, pretty, pretty no, hot. Dude, fuck it's also like the Dahlia one. We did, we, did, we did the spicy red baby last there you time. Go. Do the, do the Nick, Dahlia, you... no, do the Dahlia mermaid hair flip. Oh, yeah. That, that one's screen. good. Nick also. No, you do... curse this run. You don't get what you want. Nick, do the Milo one laying in the grass. Silence, Nick. I don't then think it's it. a background, technically. Oh, that makes a picture, sense. Add in a picture of Daniel with Milo. No, in... don't. Oh, do here. That. There it is, Daniel. Thank yeah. You. Add, add Dan diving headfirst into Damien's butt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. There and she then, is. And then I get close. Like, what are you doing? Here's the this, is, this is still my favorite. There you go, Colin. It's oh, it even says the names of the artists. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh. Good. I hope that everyone. Looks oh, so at I their think art. these might be. Uh, screen that one. I think these Thanks. might be like fan arts that were done preemptively for the game. Yeah, probably. Because well, I, that, I that was in the was, game. No, I know, I've but I'm saying like artworks. if it was like somebody on the in-house team, I assume it probably wouldn't. You know, it would just yeah, list the whole art team. Yeah, saying who it is. the person who does. Um, the character designs is one person, if I know. Ooh. I think they draw Deal. all of them. Oh, like these, these, I think, are just paintings. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. I think Were you there when we got the Did background? you not see this on Twitter? That turned all my fancy... Shut up, and all Kyle. my backgrounds into fancy painting. <laughs> No, B, no, I, I did not see that. I did not B, see that. One that of Joy's evil exes. Fancy oh, here you go. Here you go. Uh... 
Where is it? Uh, that, this is Joy's evil X number one. <laughs> I was like, that Joy's was, evil X number those two, the, and number those three are the is down are here. Saying that next, when next they show up, I'm calling dibs for myself and Laura for them. Just the game graphs, and no one can tell me otherwise. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh my God, is that and, is that Danny and Agron? <laughs> and or it's, it's, it's Donny and Arnold. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Please tell me that they're voiced by them. That would be even better. That would it's actually Agron. be very funny. It's Diglett <laughs> and Agron. I think Aaron does it's, somebody. It's Gus I and Eddie. I don't know. <laughs> Yay. Still, still, still my favorite. Still very good. Hey, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you go down to Joy's Evil X's for B, please? Ah, fine. There you go. This is Axorax, who I was very, 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 yeah. very verbally assaulted in the credits, saying that they are they. I know yeah. that the, now. Don't be dramatic. Big, big and dramatic is what I do best. Wait, Nikki, was it this one or was it the the one next to Axorax is they? It wasn't. It wasn't this this character. I honestly don't remember, but I'm fairly certain that they identify as a she. I read. I read the comments you're talking. About, and yeah, I Aaron. Both of them equally. They're, uh, those are- I didn't realize that his skulls changed. Super duper high tier mm -hmm. character designs, but also fucking whatever with, with, the, with this one. Um, also, one thing I'm gonna show you guys, not a lot of people know this, uh, but if Nick, you look really uh, carefully, every time Milo changes his expression- <laughs> Guys, I found out a cool thing about this. Apparently, his eyes change uh, color. Milo changes his color and eyes at the same time. Isn't that neat? What? I couldn't all, hear you. You were breaking out. Out, I introduced to the group. <laughs> oh, I can't look at him in his cute anime outfit, even though I have it on so lock. He has so many different versions of cloak. Yeah. Who? It's, it's really Arlo. stylish. Hey, Nick, well, Nick. They, so I go, honey. Nick, I said they. You said he. Did um, I? Yes, he, he did. Oh, that's, okay. that's oh, fuck me. Oh, I, I love the hood. I don't feel good about that. I'm sorry. That's why I said. But N Nikki, click yeah. through, uh, click through all of Milo's outfits at a rapid pace. Which one's Milo? My my friend. They're they're. Milo. Click through. There, it's just it's just different long coats. And, yeah. and fancy pants. Hey, listen, everyone's got an aesthetic, all right? Thank you. They have, Thank they you. have the dopest look. Also, Colin, you'd be able to see him in his sweet anime outfit if you watch them. this. Sorry. Them. On the last episode of Best Buds. <gasps> did you Although, get the, anyone did who... Did you get the anime expansion? Yeah, honey, yeah. I kickstarted yeah. this like... Oh no, I missed, I missed uh, Aravi as Jotaro. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much, yeah. That was Damn, good. I'm good news, tight, you can see it on that's, YouTube. That's the best one, that's my favorite one. It's adorable and I love it. But anyway, it's nerds, it's choice, midnight, it's so, so I think it's time for us to end this stream. Yeah, I tried to pee for like two hours, but I didn't and, want to be gone. And I, I, almost, I've had Yakuza cravings yeah, for three hours. You didn't want to be calling about it? Yeah. Well, if I let uh, myself get Colin after injury, every failed run of Monster Run, damage, no, the liquids no. run right through me like a colander. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, By the way, we have these special powers to turn a short game into a five-hour stream. Yeah, yeah it was a good call on that yeah. short game. I, I honestly thought that we might actually be able to do what we did with the last long game, but... Well, yeah. we talk a lot yeah. and too much sometimes, and it was good, and it was a lot of fun, honestly, even though... I, I was say, uh, sorry, Dan. I no, I was just going to say, yeah, even yeah. though Laura won. As long as somebody got out of that game unscathed, I'm happy. Exactly. Yeah. But honestly, you guys, let me be yellow. Isn't, isn't isn't the biggest part besides the the fan based engagement? Uh, the no, the best part is we, winning. We Didn't just, you listen to anything that Aravi to, said? We get to do silly voices and crack wise with our with our with our with, with the boys. <laughs> yeah. With the friends, you know, the proverbial with the gang. cold one. <laughs> 